Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia, coming to you with another pour, a pour with more. There might be a few stages to this. I've got my lovely cup of coffee here to join me. It's always nice in my art room with a cup of coffee. Mm -mm. Best place to be, I reckon. Oh, other than being with family. I must throw that one in. Rightio, so today I am going to spread my base paint out, the colours, with that sponge you see. And I'm going to split my colours, similar but different. So I have navy, this is a navy that I make out of uh, phalo blue with a good blob of black and... Um, a dash of very dark green believe it or not so it gives it the navy it's um nice i'm looking at this thinking that it may have silicone in this paint because i did some art yesterday with my granddaughter she wanted to do a flip cup and she wanted to put silicone in the cup so of course I let her and um, and I think that that navy and this colour was one of the ones that she put silicone in but it doesn't matter even though I didn't really want silicone in this particular pour but never mind so they're very similar well they're not the same this one is called Deep Sea by um, Global as well so this one is um, a colour that you can buy. The other one is a custom colour that I make. So a little bit darker and mysteriously looking. But it doesn't matter. That's got that lovely kind of emerald glow to that. That's a, I love that colour too, the deep sea. So I've got some other colours. Just give that a little um, dry off with my heat, my heat gun. It is already like, you can see that the silicon in it and I did not want silicon, but I might have to try, I might have to try this idea again that I've got without silicon because I didn't want these little patches coming up, which is what you get with silicon. That's how you get a lot of cells with silicone. Um, but never mind, I will just go with the flow and see what we get. So I'm going to do a um, like a little posy, I suppose. Now this is a little bit thin, so I'm thinking that I should go Dutch pour because that is way too thin to do what I had intended. So I will go Dutch pour. I'm having a complete change of plan to what I started at and that's totally okay. Anything is okay in your art room because it's um, your art, your way, your rules and all of that. So just go with it. But let's just see what we can get. Yeah, this paint is all basically mixed to do a Dutch pour because it is so thin. And I know if I tried to do what I had in mind um, it just would not go the way I had in mind so it's a completely different plan now to what I originally had um, but I'll just go with it just go with the flow pour your heart out so this one is the deep sea which I painted this side but usually with the Dutch pour remember you have to have all this fluid paint around so to give it so it can move easy I'm just gonna go and see what uh, blowing this out without having a you know a crazy um, fluid coat underneath will achieve and if it oh well this is very full this is the gold metallic gold so this is overly full 
but never mind. I think I might use this to blow out. Yeah, I need to mix up some more paints for what I have in mind because they need to be a thicker consistency. But that's perfectly fine. So I might put some more of this around here. I love this deep sea colour, as I keep telling you. Just love it. You know, you go on some colours and it's just beautiful. You just love it. This is one of them at the moment. Just love it so much. Um, we'll go with the navy, navy, navy. The navy and gold will probably produce green, but let's just see how we go. May come out a stunner, and if not, you know, somebody may love it. Righty a ho. I might add a little bit of the turquoise. Let's going to use my heat gun. Somebody asked me do I prefer heat gun over butane. Yes, absolutely. I just find that the heat the heat wand um, bursts the air bubbles and does exactly the same as butane but it's nowhere near as dangerous as a butane torch. So okie doke, let's blow this out now with my little blower. See how we get. Let me think about it as I go. Lead it up. result of doing a Dutch pour with silicone in you absolutely do not need silicone in a Dutch pour because look it doesn't look like all those nice waves it's all gone into cells and that is absolutely fine if you want cells um, but I didn't want cells so it is not what I had planned Helmar silicone I've got it in my Amazon link below um, and if you're in Australia from the online Capriol Creative it just creates so many cells with a tight one drop is absolutely crazy crazy cells so this has gone absolutely crazy um, the colors are beautiful they're absolutely beautiful but it is absolutely not, not, not what I was going for. So to do what I need to do that I've got in my head today, now I have got to mix up a whole batch of paints and do what I have in my head while it's all still there. Um, <laughs> crazy. But do you like that? What do you think? I mean, it looks nothing like a Dutch pour. It looks like flip cup or something because of the cells. So didn't even have to do anything to get those. So I'm just wondering now if I did a white swipe along that, what would it create? Let's go with it. 
I'm going to go with it because it's not at all what I had in mind and that is perfectly fine. I can't get my lid off this. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let me see what a white swipes do. Let's do some finer swipes. So I've just got soft plastic file divider here. Let's give this a go. The cells are phenomenal, but it's not what I want. But you can't always get what you want, <laughs> obviously. Um, the cells and the colours are beautiful. So I'll just push on with this. This is just soft plastic file divider that you will find from any stationery store. And I just find it the easiest to swipe with. And plus you just can put it uh, straight in the tub to wash it. No problems or anything. So, do I leave one side swiped and one side not? Or when I bring you down and you see these cells, which my camera up there does not um, seem to pick up when I'm doing the video, I have to bring it down. Let's do some uh, to show you. They look like absolute gems. They're beautiful. So let's do, let's create some movement in this big baby. Completely off tether now, but might as well go with it. Kind of looks like a crazy ocean. Actually dreaming about pouring last night. You'd think after all the time that I've been doing it that it wouldn't be so obsessive to me but it absolutely is it's just there now and something that I think about and have thoughts and ideas throughout the night that I'll keep um, a notebook beside my bed with the pen handy so if I think of things or dream about things I write them down to follow them up in my studio the next day or whenever I can but okay I didn't swipe the bottom there's a swipe on top and a balloon embellishment but still these cells are popping up everywhere and um, it's a bit crazy okay I will bring the camera down to show you those crazy cells but it is a bit I'll let you decide mm, this is the crazy cell side that I swiped they're actually disappearing now the paint is way way too thin and seems to be too thin to hold a shape um don't know what's going on here as I said my granddaughter mixed these paints up so I don't know if she's thrown in something that I wouldn't normally I'm not sure um I was here so yeah, it's not kind of holding its shape. It's uh, losing its its shape a fair bit. But like you, you know, it's some people just love things you hate. But I would not or could not sell this piece at all because, as you see, it's showing the canvas through it. And that in the art world seems to be one of the big no-nos is not to let the canvas show through I mean you could go back over it when it's dry and touch it up but it's not that special well thank you so much for watching me this has been a definitely hit and miss for me um, it's just not acceptable <laughs> for me at all this particular piece so let me know what you think I'll give it a go anyway and now I'm going to mix some more paint so join me again tomorrow. I'd be very grateful if you put a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you do so. Um, and, and join me again tomorrow. So take care, you good people. Bye for now.